I've just been told like I just need loads of protein. <laughs> piece of piss, mate. See, it's unimaginable. Vegan diet. It's unimaginable. It's a piece can't, of piss. But I have to eat a lot because I've got a fast metabolism. How many calories? Thousand calories. Oh, yeah. Five thousand. Five? Yeah, yeah. In Are ways. you f***ing serious? Yeah. No, it's a two. I just drink it. Point of milk. I can build my muscle without the bodies of animals who had suffered for it. Turn Maybe it I just don't care enough. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, steak's supposed to be a superfood, so I've been told. Like everyone's dreaming on to me in the bodybuilding world, they reckon steak's proper superfood. I'm asking people why they're not vegan. I watched your podcast the other day with Tristan. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a few people come up and say that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Did you watch the whole thing? I did, yeah. Okay, cool. Did you agree with Tristan? Um, some things. Just put up, yeah, put up there. Okay. I agree with some did things. Did you agree that, you know, not to care about, like, animals in those factory farms? Well, situations? yeah, like you were saying, like, uh, I've never seen the factory, so I, I can't say, but what you were saying, like, it seemed pretty brutal. If you said there was, like, dying, right? Yeah. In there. Mm. Millions of them will die in the sheds because they grow too fast to support their own body yeah, weight. Yeah. They lie on their face and they'll just die. And... Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, so. it's common factory farming is common yeah, here. Yeah. The UK, you'll see the green grass pastures, all this advertising, yeah. but UK is the same as any other country with, when it comes to factory farming. Yeah, the main reason why I'm not vegan though is because I, I don't know enough about it. Oh, really? Yeah. I've, is that the main reason? Yeah. Do you care about the experiences of like yeah, do, other yeah. animals? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. So you're not like Tristan? No, <laughs> not in that sense, no. <laughs> he's like a, he's, he's an anomaly, dude. Like. No, not an anomaly, but you do get people that are just like, they can just switch off. I don't care. I think he's got a bit of a switch. Yeah. I think he's had to have that hard line switch for whatever reason. Well, he's like that with a lot of things. He's very regimented. Carefree. Yeah. Yeah, like I think they were saying when he was in jail, he was like, I don't care. My mind is somewhere else. And like, so he can just really make the switch because I don't think he wants to change. With you, someone who's like expresses normal human emotion, how do you justify like yourself? Because I've been vegan nearly 10 years, yeah, right? And yeah. I was a big meat eater, gang member, things like that. Yeah, yeah. I just, myself, couldn't justify doing that to animals for what I got out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I wasn't yeah. in some survival situation. I wasn't defending my family. They didn't commit some heinous crime against me. They were just innocent beings who were like similar to dogs in their experience, infinitely murdered, tortured often en masse so yeah. I could have this, this meal three times a day that I could easily replace. Like I couldn't justify it. I'm asking like, how do you justify it? Well, obviously like I go gym, so <laughs> I've just been told like, I just need loads of protein. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah? Yeah, so. How, how much protein? Got like much? that? I have 300, 300 grams. Yeah, you're, you're looking good. You're in better shape than me, but I'm, I, no, I, you, I don't, I don't train. Big arms, I've got to train a bit more. <laughs> I've got small arms for like, for no, the you look good. Me, you look good. So how much protein you need today? 200? I have two, it's 250 about. 250? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that. Easy. I've got piece fast metabolism. So. Piece of piss, mate. See, it's on unimaginable. A it's unimaginable. It's I piece don't know, of piss. I don't know how you do it. After a certain <laughs> threshold, you don't have to even worry about the amino acid profile. Like it just all levels out. Like once you get it, if you get enough protein after a certain threshold, you get all the right amino acids. The thing acids is with well. my job though, I'm always living out of hotels. So, I can't cook. I can't here. cook, so I'm always Same in here. hotels, traveling around each day. Same here. Same here. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm a full-time activist. We travel around a lot. Yeah, We're yeah. traveling right now. We're in a hotel right now, actually. Yeah. And uh, use a bit of Uber Eats. We use an app called Happy Cow. Okay. Or um, if you're training, I would oh. just go to Tesco. I'll grab like cold mock meats, cold vegan chicken, and I'll come back and I'll make a big, uh, chuck it in with salad with beans, and I'll just uh, like eat it in a container like that, and then I can make sure that I'm getting enough protein. I'll bring a vegan protein powder with me if I want to hit my, my protein. Um, otherwise, I don't know if you do, if it fits your macros or if you do like more strict regimen. I do, but I have to eat a lot because I've got a fast metabolism. How many calories? 1,000 calories? Uh, 5,000. Five? Yeah, yeah. If I, if I have 4,000 below, I'm, I'm losing weight. <laughs> I'm losing Are weight. Are you serious? Yeah, no, you it's do? a joke. It's what do a you joke. Do? I, I work in a, a Rorigga. Oh, for f Build sake. stuff, but like that, it's, yeah, it's a joke. 5,000 calories, bro. Eating's harder than the training. <laughs> um, you're a rigger, but what do you do for training? Weights? Yeah, yeah, weight training, just pure bodybuilding. Before we get into that, like, do you agree that it's kind of unjustifiable what we do to animals on mass so we can get this like trivial amount of, if it wasn't protein, like let's take protein out of the picture, just, let's just say for taste, convenience, habit, things like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's unjustified? I'm not sure because I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. like I said, I haven't seen how brutal it actually okay. is. But What do you want to see? What do you want to watch? Yeah. <laughs> I can show you a couple of things. Like, to be honest, I really, I do believe you. I do believe you. I mean, we can show <laughs> you, do believe me, but like, it depends on what, what do you eat the most? Chicken? Yeah, and steak, steak. So if you watch this movie called um, Land of Hope and Glory, I know of these investigators who got this footage. So this is just like stock standard factory farming, pigs dying on slats. Uh, maggots. Yeah, look, piglets dying on the floor. This is standard. You see this shit all the time. Yeah. Antibiotics and shit being injected into them, clipping their teeth out, tail off. Yeah, he was saying like this was a, 
a great human invention, right? Do you think factory farming is bad? No. Are they cruel? Maybe. But I, I, I don't care. I think it's an amazing feat of human ingenuity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, I mean, basically with Tristan, I was just like allowing him to say things that people, m majority of people would disagree with. I mean, I wasn't as hard on Tristan as I usually am on people. I don't know if you were saying that just to wind you up. Exactly, so I was trying not to get wound up. Yeah, yeah. It's a gas chamber. So CO2 is an aversive gas, um, and when you inhale it, it burns your eyes, nose, uh, mucous membranes because of its, it's like can of coat gas, you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, they scream, they scream really loud. I, I, I don't agree with it. They're massively overproduced animals. I don't mind so much if you're going out hunting for your food. Okay, but, but that's not where you get your food, is it? No, obviously not. I'm against hunting too, I think it's murder. But you just go to the store and get your chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That you, so you're basically getting factory farm chicken, yeah. pigs, cows that are mass slaughtered anyway. Do you think that's justified? Because you said, I don't know what it looks like. We've shown you a little bit. Do you think that's justified for what you get out of it? If you had alternatives. Maybe I just don't care enough. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You might not. You might not care about that because it's not you, but would you care more if it was dogs in, that, in those farms? Not really. Not no, really. not really. Just about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so disconnected to it, I suppose. You're on the fence about whether or not that's justified to eat them? Like, what happens to them in order to eat them, to, whether it's justified? No, 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 I don't, think, I don't think it's justified. I think I think we should make better attempts to, like, make it more humane. Okay. That's what I think, but... But at the moment, you support the inhumane stuff. I don't know if I support it, I just... I mean, I mean when I say support, I don't mean, like, yeah, go yeah. team. I mean, like... You financially, just like, to, you create yeah. the demand for it. Yeah, by yeah. I still was supposed to. I do, don't I? Like, yeah, yeah. You I, give I, them I your do. money. They, I do. they kill the animals. You give them the money. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you, you support it in that way. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm from as well, there's like a lot of fox hunting that goes on, and I've seen some brutal, like, yeah. like there's been a fox before running down a train track, and there's loads of dogs just charging down, and this fox is trying to climb up this wall. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it, the dogs just ripping. You're against that? Oh yeah, massive. And why? Why are you against it? Because I don't think there's no need at all. That's just pure cruelty. Okay. Like, in my opinion. And if I come up and ate the fox, would it be okay? No. But I would say no. it was not needless cruelty. I did it because I wanted to eat the fox. Do people even eat foxes? Uh, just a hypothetical, <laughs> just trying to figure out. Because <laughs> the reason I'm saying this, just so you're clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. is because I think all well, this is needless cruelty and suffering as well. I asked you why the dog hunting of the fox is wrong, and you said because it's needless cruelty. And then I just added the caveat of eating the fox, so maybe you thought, oh, well, now it's not needless, or wait, is it still wrong? Well, yeah, it's still wrong. Yeah. So that's why I was trying to make like a little bit of Especially with the dogs though, like 10 dogs after one fox, like what the hell is that? Being dropped into a dungeon filled with gas is yeah. horrifying too. Yeah. I mean... But I, did, I didn't know this before you just told me. Like, I didn't know they got dropped into gas. Yeah. I, I had no idea. I thought they'd just go to a slaughterhouse, trapped in pens, and then just get slit. Okay. What do you think about that then? You think that's okay? I don't think it's okay, but there's... It's better. Like you can, yeah, you yeah. can make... Okay, so you can, we can torture animals more. Like for me, example. I would much rather be shot in the head, back of the head without, like, we're having this conversation, bang, shoot me in the back of the head, and I don't know nothing about it, than being consciously walked down a kill floor and having my throat slashed, or going into a gas chamber and, like, struggling and drowning in gas, right? So, yeah, there are better ways to be killed, right? Yeah. But because there are better ways to kill, does that make killing me okay? Wow. For a sandwich, let's just say, like, for a burger, like, the same read. For um, hit the macros, you know what I mean? <laughs> just to hit the ma them macros, them joey. I do agree with Chist in that sense, though. I don't think humans are the same as animals. You don't have to say that they're on the same plane, which is what Tristan was like, oh, they're exactly equal. No, they share conscious experience. It might be different, but it's still worth more than our taste buds, you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, like, shooting a human in the head for a sandwich is wrong, right? Shooting a cow in the head for a sandwich is not wrong? <laughs> From the cow's position, it's <laughs> wrong. Yeah, yeah, from the cow's position, yeah. yeah that's but what like, I give a f from, about. From my position. Shooting you in the head is not wrong for me, it's wrong for you, yeah. which is why it's wrong. Well, steak's supposed to be a superfood, so I've been told. Like, everyone's driven on to me in the bodybuilding world, they reckon steak's proper superfood. Probably listening to f***ing all the carnivore quack clowns. I don't uh, know who to believe these days, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> look, just... all of the good nutritional data points to the more red meat consumption you engage in, so you start seeing, like, certain cancers or like uh, heart disease risk. The saturated fat in there, you know what I mean? It raises your blood cholesterol. The carnivore guys are basing their, um, like this red meat being a superfood off of no reliable nutritional data. It's just like opinions. So what's your opinion on milk? Ethically, it's an abomination, the way they obtain it. They rape her in the ass with an arm, 
to hold the cervix through the anal lining, and then they shove semen that they wanked off out of a full into her to impregnate her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full bestiality, right? She has a nine-month pregnancy and they take her calves away. The males don't produce milk, so they're not useful. So they get slaughtered. Young, two weeks old, whatever. Get rid of them. They might go to veal, some might go to beef, but they're slaughtered. The females, they get imprisoned in little hutches. They get grown to be used in the same way. So that keeps the milk flowing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do that for about four or five cycles until she can't get pregnant anymore. Yeah. She goes to get minced up into burgers, right? That's the dairy industry. Okay, yeah. And there's a lot of suffering and welfare issues. The maternal trauma, being separated from calf to mother is one, lameness, mastitis, uh, mutilations, they cut their horns off and shit. They can drop down, then they'll just forklift them out, take them to the slaughterhouse, like it's just yeah. a up industry. I know, because a lot of bodybuilders by me, there's a, there's a farm that, like, it's illegal, isn't it? But like, they uh, get raw milk. So, okay. Yeah, so like... I, I've seen uh, a few people... Yeah, the dispensaries at the farms. Look, I mean, the dairy industry is an immoral abomination. I don't think you need dairy milk. I mean, plant protein has better health outcomes than dairy protein, but dairy's an abomination. Even if yeah. they're, like, dairy's a healthier food than red meat, but it's just a f***ing abomination, so needless. It does clog my stomach, though, whole milk. I find that if I have a lot of it, it will clog. Why would you want milk in? Why do you need milk anyway? Put in your cereal? Easy, easy calories, to be honest. That's the main reason. Easy yeah. calories. I'm a, I'm a big drinker, so, like... Pints of milk. So, so do you use smoothies in that? Oh, you, not so much anymore, I used to. Pints I just drink it, pints of milk. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> to me, it tastes like f***ing spew now. Really, yeah? Yeah, and you gotta think, that's for a baby cow. Like, is it justified, like, the dairy industry so we can drink their baby's milk? Stolen baby's milk, right? Yeah. I don't know if you, do you believe, you don't probably don't believe in anything like karma or you don't have any religious connotations or anything? A little, but. But what stops you from doing something bad? I don't, I, I don't feel good if I do bad things. I don't so feel conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel good when I do good things. Pretty simple, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I want to be principled and I don't think they deserve it. It's like <laughs> evil, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's a consumer demand thing. The more <laughs> that's demanded, the more children get <laughs> up from it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right? So, in the same way, like this here, I see it as like obviously it's, it's different. The reasons are different. We're doing it for food and sustenance, whatever, taste, or whatever. But it's just like, is evil to buy this product in terms of like amount of suffering, killing, murder, as it is to buy something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And all the only thing can stop you is your conscience, right? It is, yeah. Probably get your macros pretty easily as a vegan if you, if you, it, it might be a little bit of tough. Maybe, yeah, I'll have to do a bit of research, right? Because it seems to me like you're, you're the type of person who spends a bit of time doing, managing their diet anyway. I would, I would give it a go. Like, I'm not a person that's like, no, I'll never try it. So I would give it a go there, but... But you agree that it's wrong to... These these industries are bad? Yeah, well, yeah, overall, yeah. I'd say, say they're pretty bad, yeah. Overall, I'd And best-case scenario? Do you think that's bad? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so, well, I think yeah. of the best-case scenario. There's a cow there, liking their life, chilling, and you walk up and slash their head off. Yeah. <laughs> Eat their body. Yeah, maybe if I see it more in real life, like I'd have a different opinion, but it's like I'm a bit, a bit blind to it all. Yeah, disconnected, man. Yeah, yeah, you just go in the store and you buy yeah, it, you don't yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. The amount of calories you're eating, like you're contributing a little extra than yeah. your average person, actually, to the supply chain. Yeah. You need a little extra meat, you need a little extra <laughs> animals being but this, killed. But there's kids on the kids on the farm. They'll just, they'll like, just been breaking chickens' necks from a little kid. Like, just think nothing of it. Yeah. Just like... Like it's drinking water. Some people can kill people and think nothing of it, like it's drinking water. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. gangsters I know just, used to know just smash and stick a knife into you and walk off and think nothing of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't change the, the ethics of the action, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I get it, a lot of people disconnected, a lot of people are conditioned to violence. Some people don't care, like Tristan doesn't. You care. If you feel bad when you do bad things and good when you th do good things, maybe if you've seen a little bit, like watch that Land of Hope and Glory start to finish and think, I can build my muscle without the bodies of animals who had suffered for it yeah. or been murdered for it. Like I can build a whole body and feel good about that, that I haven't caused the wake of destruction in its path. Yeah, I, need, I, might, I might give it a go, but I need to, uh, I need to know more about being a vegan, to be honest, like the yeah. meals and whatever. Yeah. Check out Brian Turner. Yeah, Brian Turner, yeah. Or Neymar Delgado. Why are they good chefs, vegan nah, chefs? No, they're uh, vegan bodybuilders. Oh, are they, yeah? Yeah, or Hench Herbable. Interesting, yeah. It's doable, mate. Yeah. Like, you already, you already look for you're already, you're already making a little bit of an effort there. Yeah, yeah. And if I can do it, fucking anyone can do it, bro. I come from, I come from fucking no education and shit, and I can do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can get my 160 grams, I can do 2,000 calories when I'm uh, cutting and then whatever, man. I can find protein sources everywhere. TVP's a good one. You can bring it in a bag dry. And you yeah, can, you're, yeah, you're too committed. <laughs> yeah. Not too committed, but no. proper committed. <laughs> I don't 
bring it around with me when I'm traveling. <laughs> right, we just get Uber Eats or we go to Tesco or we uh, use an app called Happy Cow and we find vegan restaurants around. Yeah. Or vegan options like, vegan oh, options really? everywhere, bro. On this street alone, there's about 10. Like, you know, Burger King, McDonald's have vegan options. You can get extra patties on the plant, McPlant. I find it a bit strange though with vegans, like they, they, well, they go vegan for health reasons and then eat like processed. Like, like the McPlant burger, for example. Your health, you, you, you're concerned I'm about not, no, but like, when people say they're doing it for health reasons. You can't go to vegan for health reasons. You can only go vegan for ethics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you should be, you should look after your health, but all processed food is bad. Yeah, Meat, yeah, Or vegan, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. A lot of people, they they just generally want to be healthy and they want to have a burger. And yeah, yeah, yeah. At least the option's there so they don't get the decapitated animal burger, <laughs> you know. But yeah. Oh, Good sounds... talking to you, brother. Yes, and you, mate. And you. Thanks, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, appreciate it. It's up to you now, you, only you and your conscience. Do as thou wilt, but you will be judged by the conscience god. <laughs> by the vegan gods. Vegan gods. <laughs> On you, brother. Hello. Are you a vegan? I'm trying to. You're trying to? This is your sign now, to be vegan. They don't want to discuss. They don't want to discuss. Are you a vegan? Ah. So no is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs>